remember the Jackie Demick saying, God damn, man, listen, man, these stories are never fun to do, okay? However, it's become way too normal and way too much of a calling card for all the guys who enjoy this life of savagery. There's no goddamn respawns in real life. Maybe in Call of Duty, but not in real life. Now, aspiring rapper and full-time savage, Young Poppy, he was one of 16 people shot in a 14-hour period in Chirac. Now, think about it, man. Goddamn. That is Steph Curry efficiency. 1.1 niggas getting shot per hour. Now, according to police, we're getting the same old story. It feels like a copy and paste. A 20-year-old rapper, he got shot twice in a north side uptown neighborhood early Friday. He was taken to the Illinois Masonic Hospital. He passed away. Now, police are claiming that this is what happened. He was approached from behind by another savage with a gray hoodie who caught him lacking, of course, shot him, then fled the scene. Now, there's some witnesses. They didn't see the murder. At least that's what they're saying. But they saw a car either drop him off or pick the person who did the murder up. Now, they're saying they saw a shiny black four-door car that was driving on a different uh, street. And they saw it driving out the street with the rear side door open. Basically, it stopped, it backed up, and then the guy, whoever did the shooting, ran into that car, then they dipped. Now, here's the thing, man, because this is where it get weird, okay? This kind of gets a little bit, it, it, it blows my mind. Think about this. Police are saying this particular rapper, Young Poppy, and he's popular on social media. People are lamenting and crying over his death, but they're saying that this guy was the target of two, not one, but two. Shootings in 2014. I mean, wow. Okay, bro, a nigga gets shot within five miles of my crib. I am moving. Fuck you mean? Niggas are shooting at you and you still in the same neighborhood, the same state? Come on, my nigga. But anyway, in the two times they tried to shoot him and subsequently kill him, of course, which they didn't accomplish, Two bystanders were killed. That's the thing, man. It don't matter if you have the beef. You can't be in Chirac, period, because the bystanders are getting smoked, too. Okay? You don't want to be a goddamn bystander pack. But listen, okay? One time he was waiting for the bus. A gunman shot at him while he was trying to get on the bus. And there was another time that he was in some type of park and a gunman shot at him. And in those two times, two people died. Okay? It wasn't him, though. Now, police say they're way too familiar with this guy, okay? They said he held a wild, savage Project X-type party that had to be broken up by Chirac Swat. He was pretty much a high-profile savage. I mean, he was dropping his mixtapes, doing his music thing. However, the real street beef was a little bit too real and a little bit too close. Now, of course, police got nobody in custody. Ain't nobody in custody, okay? They say it's gang-related, of course. Gang, 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 squad, squad, squad. Okay, now to me, man, listen, it saddens me that the price of life in Chirac could be purchased with cloud cash. I'm just, it's just kind of, it's kind of crazy. But in the ironic self-fulfilling prophecy, right? Check out this aspect of it, right? The last song that he was promoting and tweeted out was called Shooters. His Twitter features a ton of kill scripts. To me, they're like savage hieroglyphics. I don't want to try to like understand it. I don't want to know who he's down with. I don't want to know who's his ops. I don't even want to get that far, okay? The sad thing that is a rapper and a young black man got gunned down. That's as far as I want to go, okay? So I can't call it one way or the other, like who's, who's the ops, who's up. Now, fuck that. Go talk to the goddamn Chirac scorekeeper for that. But here's the thing. Because his most famous lines, and people are telling me this. They're saying his most famous lines, and I'm not sure if he even spit these lines, but apparently it's in his recent song called Shooters. He says, I got a whole lot of shooters on my squad, bitch. I got a whole squad full of shooters. Now, that's ironic. That's very self-fulfilling. It, it, it brings such a negative energy. It, it, it's kind of just a... Anyway, let me just get past this. Okay. Let me tell you this. Okay. Unfortunately, what's lost in all this is that this kid's a son. He's probably a brother, probably a, um, he probably he might even have a kid. You don't know. I'm not sure if he has any type of kids or a girlfriend. Uh, he's definitely a son. And from what I'm hearing, he's a brother. It's a very sad situation. And the thing is, man, you tell these guys that they got to get out of this life. But, of course, they live it. They live it. They breathe it. Some of them enjoy it. And some of them see it as a means 
to make music about. So the music is just only the soundtrack to what they really live. As I said, if a nigga is shooting, if, fuck, if, fuck if they shoot shooting at you. If they shoot shooting at you, you should leave the country, period. Be out. Eh, get out. Get the fuck on out, okay? However, if they shoot niggas in your vicinity, and my vicinity is big, 10 miles. You shoot niggas in 10 miles of me, I got to leave. I'm out. But it's a sad situation. People are more than his death on uh, Twitter, Instagram, and they're sending his condolences. If you like him as a rapper, send your condolences to him as well. Of course, as I said, when this whole cycle continues of we celebrate like, oh, yeah, he's not lacking, he's with the shits, blah, blah, blah. Then all of a sudden he gets killed and you're like, oh, my God, not him. Oh, my God. It's a bad cycle. You got to be consistent in your message. And until we get to that point, it's going to be this over and over again. And the bad thing about it is that the summer of Chirac's just getting warmed up. You guys can comment box, man. It's Woody's Academics. Listen, man, you guys take it in. And uh, you go look up the article. There's a link in the description. Go read about it if you guys want to. But sad story, Schwartz Academics. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, at I'm Academics. I'm out.